I just thought I'd pop on today to say hello because it's been so long since I've seen all of you and I also thought I might like to share a story with you today. It's one of my little boy's favourites at the moment and it's called There's a Tiger in the Garden. Tiger in the Garden. And it's all about a little girl who's feeling a bit bored at home. So, I hope you enjoy it. Nora is bored. There's nothing to do here, Grandma, she says matter-of-factly. Jeff the giraffe is bored too. Why don't you play in the garden, says Nora's Grandma. I thought I saw a tiger there earlier. A tiger, asks Nora. I'm too old for silly games now. Well, I'm sure I saw one, she replies. And dragonflies the size of birds and plants that can swallow you up whole. And a polar bear who likes fishing, though he's a bit grumpy. But most magnificent of all was the tiger. You and Jeff should take a look if you don't believe me. She's been silly, Jeff says Nora, standing outside in the garden. There's no tiger here, just same boring old garden with boring old plants and boring old... Whoosh, something whizzes past Nora's face. It's a dragonfly. Wow, says Nora. Well, says Nora to Jeff, there may be dragonflies as big as birds, but I know for a fact that there aren't plants that'll eat us whole or a grumpy polar bear, and there's definitely no tiger. Come on, Jeff, let's go home. Jeff? Uh oh. What's happened? Oh dear. Fine. So there are dragonflies the size of birds and that bush definitely wanted to eat you but I don't see any polar bear and there's no sign of this ridiculous tiger anywhere. Come on Jeff, let's go home. Hello, says a gruff grizzly voice. Oh, uh, uh, hello, replies Nora. I suppose you're looking for that wretched tiger, aren't you? Hmm, says the polar bear. No one ever comes looking for me. Oh, not you as well, shouts Nora. There is no tiger living in my grandma's garden. That is just ridiculous. Tigers live in the jungle, not in the garden. And even though there are dragonflies the size of birds and plants that want to eat us, and you are a very grumpy polar bear, there is absolutely, definitely, 100% no tiger. Hmm, says Nora. Hello, says the tiger. Mm, tigers don't live in gardens, says Nora. Are you real? I don't know, says the tiger. Are you real? Hmm. Nora thinks about this for a long time. I don't know, she admits. How can you tell? I'm not sure you can, says the tiger. And this makes Nora feel a bit funny. I have an idea, says the tiger. If you believe in me, then maybe I'll be real. Oh, and if you believe in me, says Nora, then maybe I'll be real too. Deal, says the tiger. Deal, agrees Nora. Come on, says the tiger, and I'll give you a ride back home. And so Nora and Jeff ride home on the tiger's back. They talk about breakfast and trampolines and the grumpy polar bear. He really is extraordinarily friendly for a tiger. Can I come and see you again? asks Nora when they are near her house. Of course, says the tiger. Whenever you want me, I'll be right here.
Inside, Nora and Jeff sit down for dinner. There really is a tiger in the garden, isn't there, says Nora. Hmm, I'm not sure, replies Grandma. Perhaps it's only a ginger cat. It's hard to tell sometimes. No, says Nora. It's absolutely, definitely a tiger. And do you know what? What? asks Grandma. There's a mermaid in the bath. <gasps> oh, there really was a tiger in the garden in that story. Or maybe she was just very good at using her imagination. What do you think? Hmm. I wonder if you could use your imagination today to have an adventure on your doorstep. Perhaps you could find something in the garden or on a walk or anywhere because when you use your imagination anything can happen. I've already found a tiger but I wonder what else we can find today. I'd love to hear all about it. Bye for now.